this is the multitasking competes with what's available in the iPad? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. so um, the, the multitasking but not support um, netbooks is everything you can do with Windows. Right. So right. standard multitasking. You've got multitasking. Yeah. No. So yeah, uh, no. what the OEMs are doing on the netbook is a standard uniform, you know, keyboard, mouse, screen, exactly what you expect from a laptop, just kind of shrunk down. Um, some OEMs are taking the uh, Atom chipset and putting them in things like cell phones with touch screens, um, putting them in other devices. I believe someone is doing the touch screen yeah. netbooks, so they're making this the screen touch screen kind of a yeah. convertible tablet piece. Is the one with the Google Chrome? Uh, yeah, the question was, is there one with uh, Google Chrome? Um, I don't know that this time people are selling it netbooks with Chrome installed. Um, Intel provides uh, Moblin, which is a mobile Linux operating system. Um, so some of them are shipping with, with that um, as an alternative to Windows. If you want to see Moblin or, or that uh, a Linux running on one of these, you can go down to the top. We have it right there. Is there any plan for uh, supporting uh, the Linux uh, netbook with uh, all the tools? Uh, the question is, is there a plan to support uh, the Linux netbooks with all the tools? Great question. Um, the Intel compiler supports uh, Windows and there's a Linux version. So the Intel compiler will already, will already do that. Uh, most of the Intel tools, um, like VTune, Thread Vector, Agility Profiler, are already designed to run on both Linux and Windows. The exception being uh, the GPA, the Graphic Performance Analyzer, uh, is designed for DirectX and Windows at this point. Um, and Parallel Studio, which is a set of tools that integrate into Visual Studio. Um, Visual Studio doesn't run Linux yet, so those are the ones. Is there any plan for the, the, the Atom App Store to uh, come to uh, Linux? Yeah, okay, and the question, the further follow up question yeah. is is the App Store going to be running on Linux? Uh, again, a very good question. Uh, right now, <laughs> it's distributed on Windows, but uh, with Moblin and other Linux based uh, <coughs> platforms, we will be porting with the App Store as well. So it should be available soon. <laughs> uh, I'd like to ask if there's a minimum or a range of hard drive sizes or memory that uh, developers can expect from the netbook. Um, I think the <coughs> it, if it comes in a with an SSD, it's somewhere in the 80 gig or max range, maybe. Uh, if it doesn't, then it's probably 160 or something else. Uh, they usually come with a one gig. That's, about, that's an average. It varies, but it's about an average, at least a gig. Yeah, it's a bit of ball over time. You'll see them put more and more memory. Uh, a lot of those decisions are based on the power consumption. So, yeah. uh, The key thing to note is, as Omar said earlier in the presentation, there's no optical drive and whatnot. So you, when you're talking about distributing this digital distribution, is a good idea to have some sort of USB uh, insert. So again, for your user has to download their content. So. Keeping the size reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my name is Nicole from Netbook News. So I'm actually looking for anyone who's developing games for Netbooks. I want to talk to you after the session. And I've got two questions. Yeah. Uh, the first, you said that there wouldn't be a difference in developing games for the the uh, 500 series, but like there's there's difference in issues between the 350, the 350, yes. and yeah. the 500. Like just like multi multitasking, like, they just like straight up usage. So how can there not be a difference in if you're developing a game for the 500 versus yeah, the... Yeah, the, really when you, you target DirectX as a graphics API, for example, it's going to run the same on either. You don't have to really do anything. The really only important thing to remember about those chipsets is they're, they're slightly different hardware. So you want to run your game graphication on both to, to see that you're getting this, the desired frames per second, the desired usability. But it's not really much of a coding effort. It may be an extra little optimization effort at the end. Sorry, one, one more question. Yeah. Um, he was asking questions about Linux, and I know that um, Moblin is merging with, with Nigo, yes. with Nokia. Nokia. So um, for game developers uh, using Qt, is, is the PowerPoint, where's that going to go? So uh, the merging those OS is basically the 
Intel will continue to allow that to be an option to be installed on netbooks. You'll be able to use Ego, um, kind of the evolution. Again, a mobile version of Linux designed for lightweight power use, lots of connectivity. Um, as far as game developers is, on that platform, you're talking uh, open uh, GL as your graphics API, not necessarily DirectX. So people are used to open GL. Same thing, the graphics chips that support that as well. Um, Validate on both the 500 and the 9450, same idea, just kind of make sure the graphics gets the same level of quality and performance you want. Um, but it's, again, it's basically like a notebook. It's just a much smaller form factor to focus on power. So, I mean, if you can get something to run on a notebook, whether it's Linux, you know, Mego, whatever you want, you can get it running on Thank you, everyone. Thank you.